Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about chromatic polynomial. So what is chromatic polynomial? Well basically it's a polynomial which counts the number of distinct ways to color a graph with certain number of colors. So if we have a graph and we have a certain number of colors, the chromatic polynomial let us know how many different ways or how many distinct ways we can properly color our graph using the number of colors that we have. That is basically chromatic polynomial. So to give you an example to clarify this, let's say we have this graph. As you can see it, we have one, two, three vertices. What happens if I have one color? How many distinct ways I can color this graph? Well, there are zero ways I can properly color the graph such that no two adjacent vertices will have the same color. That is if I have one color. However, if I have two colors, then there are two ways I can properly color the graph. So if I have one color, I have zero ways to properly color the graph. If I have two colors, I have two ways to properly color the graph. What happens if I have three colors? Well, in that case, I have 12 different ways I can color the graph or I have 12 different ways to properly color the graph. So what happens if I have more colors? Let's say four, five, 10, 15, 100. Is there a particular way I can know or is there a shortcut that will tell me how many different ways I can color this graph if I have a certain number of colors? Well, that is when chromatic polynomial kicks in. Chromatic polynomials are important in order to let us know how many different ways or how many distinct ways we can color a particular graph using a number of colors. So for this graph, we have three vertices. The chromatic polynomial of it is this. P of x equals x to the third minus 2x squared plus x, where x is the number of the color. So for example, if you plug in 2 for this polynomial, let's say we have two colors and you plug in 2 for the polynomial, P of 2 equals 2 to the 3 minus 2 times 2 to the 2 plus 2, meaning it is 8 minus 8 plus 2, which is 2. So if we have two colors, we have two ways. Based on the chromatic polynomial, it gave us 2. If I have three colors, it should give us 12. If I have four colors, it should give us 36. If I have 100 colors, I'll just plug in the 100 to here, and it will instantly give me how many distinct ways I can properly color this particular graph. So that's why chromatic polynomials are important. It enables us to know how many different ways we can color a graph based on how many colors do we have. And this is the idea of chromatic polynomial. Based on the graph that we have, the chromatic polynomial for each graph is different. For example, for a complete graph, it has an equation and polynomial. For a cycle graph, it has a different one. For a graph with different vertices that are arranged in different ways, that are connected in different ways, the chromatic polynomial of it will be different. I just wanted to introduce you to the idea of chromatic polynomial. To help you practice more with graphs, there's a small, neat little software by Bob Weaver, which is a professor of computer science and mathematics, that will give you the chromatic polynomial for each graph based on how many vertices do we have and how are the edges connected. And you can plug in the number of the colors that you will have and it will give you the chromatic polynomial, the equation of it and the end product of it right away. So let's go there. I'll provide the link to the website in the description. This is Bob Weaver. And this is the software that he developed in order to calculate the chromatic polynomial for any graph. And the software is only for Windows, so I hope you are using Windows. So how does the software work? Well, this is the interface of it. You'll click the here to build a new graph in order to create a new graph. And you'll plug in how many vertices do you want. Let's say we want to have three vertices. If we have three vertices, you have to connect all the vertices together. As you can see it here, we have a cycle graph. But let's say you don't want to have a cycle graph. You want to have a graph that is a path. So how can we delete an edge, for example? What you do is you will left click on a vertex and then you will go to the other vertex and you will right click on it. Right away, this will pop up. That says click to make a change. When you click it, that particular edge will be deleted. And then you want to find the chromatic polynomial of this particular graph. You will hit the find chromatic polynomial and this is it. As we mentioned, the chromatic polynomial of a path graph that is three vertices is x to the three minus two x squared plus x, where x is the number of the colors. So if we have one color for this particular graph, we have zero ways we can properly color the graph. If we have two colors, there are two ways. If we have three colors, there are 12 ways. If we have 10 colors, there are 810 ways we can properly color the graph such that no two adjacent vertices will have the same color. You can plug in more than 12 colors. So let's say we want to plug in 500 colors. Well, we will have this many different ways we can color this particular graph with 500 colors. So let's do one more example for more vertices. Let's say we have eight vertices. 
you will connect all of them together until it creates a complete graph as you can see it here is our complete graph this will pop up once this pops up you can find the chromatic polynomial of this particular graph which is a complete graph with eight vertices here is our chromatic polynomial as you can see it is very very long but it will do the job it will give you how many different ways we can color this complete graph with eight vertices and here are the results so if you have 12 colors there are close to 20 million ways we can color this particular graph with eight vertices which is a complete graph i recommend you play with the software a little bit to get to know to it and to know how the chromatic polynomial for each particular set of graphs work so thanks to Bob Weaver for creating that particular software and as I mentioned I'll provide the link to the website in the description so to look back in chromatic polynomial is a polynomial which counts the number of distinct ways to color a graph with a certain number of colors and with this we come to the end of this lecture